My question is, where is this going? I had somebody in my studio talk about shooting back at cops, and then a week later, somebody shoots at cops spontaneously. Where is this headed? Well, you know, if you look at the overall, uh, what has happened in the country over the last year and a half or two years and some of these major events, uh, we have seen even the leadership in this country, the political leadership, has literally uh, approved of bad behavior, whether it's been in the Mike Brown incident and, uh, and obviously latest there in Baltimore. And so a lot of people are taking this as some sort of uh, green light to go out and continue to act uh, in, these lawless, uh, in these lawless ways. And I, I fear that uh, we're going to see this get much, much worse before it gets better. Carl, I'm going to hold, hold you for a second. Ariba, you, I, I, I'm sympathetic to what he's saying, that people might be confusing their constitutional privilege to speak out with the escalation of this to some sort of violence. Yeah, but all due respect to Mr. Pittman, I, I just don't see who he's referring to when he talks about political leaders and people in Baltimore condoning this kind of bad behavior. All I've seen are elected officials and community leaders and people stand up and say it's absolutely unacceptable to ever <laughs> kill a police officer. Does anybody no one understand? supports this kind of crime. I, well, I'm going to ask if any, any of the panelists uh, agree with what Mr. Carl's saying. I, I do I do empathize with what he's saying. I do think that there are he, small groups. What is group. he saying? But who's he talking about? The but I think he's leader. talking about, well, I'm not going to speak. Well, you know what? Take New York City. Take New York City Police Department in New York. A lot of the police officers in New York City are very upset with Mayor de Blasio. In fact, there was a circumstance when Mayor de Blasio was walking by and they all turned their back on him. They feel, I think it should be twofold. We should support, obviously, Black Lives Matter, like bar none. But you have to support police officers. And just even talking to the officers that I know, just I'm just speaking from you know, speaking to the officers that I know and being tight with the law enforcement community, morale is at the bottom, at the bottom. And, and they're less reluctant to pull their weapon out. They're less reluctant to do something about an more, incident. More reluctant. You be, well, you're less reluctant to do anything. More excuse reluctant. me, more reluctant. Yeah, yeah. Because if I know, if I make the wrong decision, that's the thing when you're a cop. you got to make a decision with a minimum amount of information within seconds, and you better hope you make the right decision. But God forbid you make the wrong decision or even a semi-lukewarm decision, you're done. You're going to be crucified. And that's the thing. It's a scary thing to to go out there to try to do your job and be afraid someone's going to sue you, someone's going to call you a racist, someone's going to call you these things. I'm not saying that there aren't no, bad apples. I, there are, but the majority of cops, they're good I got to tell you guys, I, this, this, this kind of same kind of scrutiny has been going on, John, in medicine for a long time. I really feel like it's the same thing happened to your guys' profession that happened to mine 30 years ago, which is they're crawling into every crevice and holding us accountable for everything. And it's trying to be a pretty good thing in the long run. Yeah, but, but here's the problem. And I'm going to say what Mr. Pittman can because he's active duty law enforcement. Barack Obama, Eric Holder, Bill de Blasio, Rahm Emanuel, and the list goes on, horribly race baited and incited this violence against cops. They sent 40, hold on, hold on, hold on. They sent 40 FBI agents to Ferguson for the murder of Mike Brown. The DOJ cleared Darren Wilson. They sent DOJ and FBI agents to every shooting where a white police officer shoots a black male, but when a cop is killed, they're nowhere to be seen and nowhere to be heard. Okay.